that there, ladies and gentlemen, is Kobe Gyu Wagyu Sushi. I don't know if it's Kobe Gyu Sushi, Kobe Sushi, Wagyu Sushi, but it looks really, really good. It cost me about $20 for five pieces, so that must be pretty real. And I'm gonna show you in a minute where they make it, and I'm gonna show you tons of different Wagyu dishes on a very rainy day here in Tokyo. Hey everybody! Oh look we got rain on the lens here. Sorry about that. Um, we have a not so beautiful day here in Tokyo and behind me you can see we're having a Wagyu show. This is my friend Matthias. He's gonna be helping me out a little bit. Thank you Matthias. And he might be help, helping me with the eating as well because I don't think I can eat this much Wagyu. Do you like Wagyu? Of course. Alright he loves Wagyu so that helps me. So thank you very much for the help. Now, we're going to try this Wagyu uh, sushi, this Kobe beef sushi, and then we're going to go over and try maybe four or five other things. So thanks for watching. I appreciate the support, everybody. This is going to be a little bit pricey. Oh, man. I can't find it. <laughs> no, there's some tents over here. Let's, how about this tent over here? Let's go over here. All right, we're going to try to find a tent to eat this in. All right, thanks, man. So this, this Wagyu festival, this is the second... And, uh, second year that they've been doing it here and um, this one unfortunately has had a pretty rough start because of the rain. It opens at 11 a.m. and I think it goes on till about 9 p.m. in Hibiya Park right in the center of Tokyo. Loads and loads of different kinds of Wagyu dishes. Alright, let's go underneath the, the table here. I, I just can't do this uh, in the rain. Hey, FNM Cor FNX Corp. Hey, cheers from Guadalajara, Mexico. Whoa, we have been traveling. I lost it there. We have been traveling uh, to Japan in November, and your videos have become super sourced. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. All right, here we go. Ha ha. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have before you right now, look down. A beautiful five piece. Here you go, Matthias. Matthias gets a, gets a spread chopsticks too. Beautiful five piece Kobe beef um, sushi. And we're going to be eating this together. This is some soy sauce. I'm going to put it here. I don't really think it needs a lot of seasoning, but I'm going to tell you why I don't like this kind of Wagyu sushi after I try it. All right, here we go. This thing's childproof. There we go. Hey James, thanks a lot for the support. All right, that should be enough. Here we go. Uh, which piece do you want? I'll take this rough looking one. All right, there you go everybody. What do you think? All right. All right, Matthias, go ahead and take one. Thank you, Zato71. Alright. Okay, hold on a second. Alright, cheers. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. Okay. Mmm. What do you think? <laughs> Speak with the eyes. Good. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. Um, so, the reason why I don't like Wagyu sushi like this is because usually if it's not, I like my Wagyu, especially Kobe beef, it, it should be cooked through. A lot of people are going to say to you that the Wagyu needs to be um, rare, right? You would, that's how you would eat Angus beef or beef in the West without the marbling. When you have marbling, you almost want to cook it well done, maybe just like medium well, because you want to activate the fats inside of the meat. Marbling means that there's a lot of that the meat is well balanced between the fat and the meat and so you want to activate that You can't do it if it's rare now red meat is best when you cook it when you leave it rare Not Wagyu Wagyu's got that intense marbling so you need to activate the fats I'm going around in a circle because people are gonna be asking me about it and say I'm doing a faux pas now This is not really cooked that well because it's kind of sushi But they do kind of blowtorch it or something and we're gonna go back there and check it out you want one more piece, Matthias? Sure. Mmm. 
It's good. Can you taste the Kobe? <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like beef. All right. Also tastes a lot like sushi. <laughs> yeah, because of the rice. Yeah. Because of the rice. Here's the last piece right here. And you can see, you can see what I'm talking about. When it's cooked like this, you can't really see the marbling. And that kind of takes away from the attraction. But it's also not cooked enough. So I would say for $20, this is how much it cost. You know what, it's okay. I think it's something that you want to try once. But I don't think it's something that you should order all the time. I think it's a novelty dish more than anything. If you want Kobe beef, cook it. Cook, you know, you want to cook it. You don't want to eat it as a sushi. All right, first one done. Let's go back for some more. But first, I want to show you. I want to show you what what they're how they're making it. Hey there, Sandy Towns in the house. We'll be in Tokyo next week. Awesome. Very cool. Alright, let's make it out here. Yeah. Should I dispose of that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers, man. I would not be able to do this without Matthias's help. He's a lifesaver. Alright, I think the trash is over here. As we walk towards the trash can, you're gonna see loads and loads of um, Wagyu beef stands. looks really good and we're gonna be exploring this the great thing about doing it in the rain today nobody's here you don't have to wait in line usually you gotta wait in line like five ten minutes sometimes longer but today it's like we got the whole place to ourselves because the rain's giving away now the wagyu have to stand outside rain or shine right all beef has to stand outside when they're alive so i figure yeah you know what as humans if we're gonna eat them we gotta also take the <laughs> take the rain too maybe all right, this is where I got, this is where I got the Kobe beef sushi, okay? You can see it says, in English, Kobe beef. I think that that is a key word. That's the key word for the, um, uh, anyone who's Western, because you can't read the Japanese kanji for a lot of people. But that's what it looks like, and, and they did a pretty good job doing that. Now, let's, let's take you to the front of the line and get a, a quick look at how they're making it, okay? Sumasen. Wow. So right now they're making Kobe beef sushi. Wow, and she's blow torching it. Check that out. And you can see how, you can see the marbling with it and then how it cooks real fast. Check that out. Ah, oh, it smells good. And then after the meat is cooked just enough and seared, oh, and she flips it. Look, check it out. Oh, so now I see. I didn't know. After she flips it, she blowtorches it again. And they're making it, they put it together right there. Yeah. Hey, Chicken on Biscuits writes in, John, when you have time, please see the Tom Popo Noodle movie, 1985, Japanese comedy, directed by Juzo Itami. Oh, I've seen it. It's really good. And Ken Watanabe's in it, too. Thanks for the suggestion. I think everybody should check that out. It's actually, it's really good. I don't think we're going to see that today. What do you, Matthias, what do you think I should go to next? Arigatou gozaimasu. What do you think we should go to next? Well, there's the Wagyu dog. The Wagyu, what Wagyu dog? Yes. He he's been he was here yesterday. You're kind of cheating in a way, but I don't I don't mind it so much. You're kind of cheating in a way. Wagyu dog. Yeah, All right. it's just over here. Oh, Akita steak. That's awesome. Is it? Oh wait. Okay, I see what you're talking about right there. Shall we go for the Wagyu dog, huh? All right, let's try it. Hey, Andy GA 2007. When is the next meetup? Probably sometime this month. Um, I just got back from the island, so I'd love to meet everybody. Right now, the next meetup's right now because Matthias is here. <laughs> but if you're in Tokyo, come out to the, come out to the event. Uh, 
。私ユーチューバーです。ちょっと撮影してもいいですか。いいですか。はい、あ、な、すすめは何ですか。和牛道具。あ、じゃあ、和牛道具お願いします。チーズかトマトガーリックソース。うわ。何が人気。あ、じゃあ、チーズ。800円, 800円はいあ、秋田の出身ですかあ、こう<笑>、はい、あ海外のユーチューバーそう、はい、今600人見てるライブ配信でああはい。<laughs> so the master here is from Akita? Yeah. Akita Shi? Oh, Kanto Matsuri. Eh, Sanka Shimashtaka? Yeah, Motoro. Oh, he was in the, the Kanto Matsuri where they hold poles of lanterns. It's really cool. And he's right here. Oh, he was in the Kanto Matsuri where they hold poles of lanterns. It's really cool. And right now they're making Wagyu dogs. Yeah. Wagyu dogs. 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 Wagyu d
um, just south south uh, east of um, well, southwest of Almory. And they put these pickles on top of it. The cheese is really well done, and that beef is so juicy. For 800 yen, this is seven dollars. Ah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's double the price of a normal hot dog I think you get in New York City. So, I gotta say, this is a pretty good deal. Considering the Kobe beef sushi was $20, this was $7, I'll go for this. Can you still eat that? No. John! Matthias, what's next? <laughs> Let's get this party going. Don't know. This is all I tried yesterday. Oh, that's all you tried? Now we're going into uncharted territory. Yeah. Peter's jealous, I think, because uh, <laughs> I got Matthias here and, and he's he wants some attention. Oh, I like this. So they separate the trash. Oh, hunto? Wow. I like that. I like how they separate the trash. Even the chopsticks, uh, combustibles is burnable. Um, this is plastic, so it, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. I like that. Very responsible. All right. As you can see, we came on a rainy day, and there's basically nobody here yet. Um, this is Wagyu Meisugyu Rare Steak, and I don't like my Wagyu Rare. That so I'm gonna pass on that. I don't know why they cook it rare. I like it. I like the Wagyu cooked a little bit more. So over here they also have uh, red meat steak. That's okay too. Real Wagyu, if the marbling is good, like A5, you're going to want to cook that a little bit through. That's Hormone. Ah, do you guys know what Hormone is? Ho do you know what Hormone is? Hormone? Yeah. Yeah, Matthias <laughs> knows. Hormone is the insides of the, of the, uh, the innards of the beef. and. This was very popular after World War II. They didn't have a lot of beef, and what they did have, they had to eat everything. You didn't waste anything after the war. You pretty much, um, every part of the animal, you'd have to eat it, and they found a way to make that. They call it motsunabe. Motsunabe is a lot of the hormone, but they also used it for hormone yaki, where they would grill the innards on, on, a, um, on a grill. <laughs> That's what grilling is. But you could also put some sauces on it, and it's actually pretty good. It's a lot, it's a lot better than you, than the images of what you think it would be. This looks good, though. This is the Kuro Wagyu uh, Saikorosu Steak. Saikorosu Steak. I know what raw steak is, but Saikorosu. Right, let's let's give this a try. This looks way too good to pass up, and it's only. A thousand grams for a hundred grams for a thousand yen. So let's give this a try. I appreciate the uh, super chats. We're going with a five thousand yen note. So this lucky lady is going to be buying me wagyu. I see. I said YouTuber desu. Satsu daijoube desu ka? Ah, ima chigao. Ah, okay. Hi. Jano, wait. Hitotsu ni ajimas. So, hundred gram de sho. Ah. Hi. All right, we're waiting. They're actually, another show is like being filmed right now. So we gotta wait for them. He's got a light. I don't have a light. All right, you can see. Whoa. Oh, he's got a lot back there. Yeah, <laughs> yay. Where did this wagyu come from? It's a Korean wagyu. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Thank you so much. Check this out. This looks really good. All right, let's bring this baby over somewhere where we can eat it. Well, we got this this wonderful elevator music going on. All right, let's bring this over. All right, here's the table over here. So this cost 1,000 yen or about $9 and we got 100 grams of it. Matthias, there you go, buddy. Thanks. Now this is uncharted water territories for Matthias because you had just, you just had the um, Wagyu burger yesterday, right? 
Wagyu dog. Yeah. Wagyu dog, Wagyu dog. Wait, do they have a Wagyu burger? I'm not sure. Didn't see it. Ah, all right, let's give this a try here. All right, so I'm gonna go for this one. It's got a little bit of green onions on it. Check it out, guys. Hold on a second. Now this, I think, has been seared pretty good. He didn't cook it too much though, which is okay, but I, I, it's seared so that's kind of activated the fats in the marbling of the beef. Um, he says this is Kuro Wagyu. It doesn't say A5 or A4, I guess it's just Wagyu. <laughs> and the name of it's Wagyu Show. But that's all right, we're gonna give this a try. Uh, pick yours out there, Matthias. Chicken on Biscuits is liking the uh, elevator music. And Tasty Chronicles, one dish on meat. Thank you, Tasty! All right, here we go, buddy. Oh, you ate it? Oh, you ate it? Okay, three, two, one. Oh! Mm. Yes! Great. That was good. Yeah, that's the best so far. The best so far ranking. Out of the Wagyu Sushi, I give it three and a half out of five. The Wagyu dog for this is this is close to perfection. Good <laughs> for the price, for the price. That's one thousand yen for hundred grams. That's uh, more than the supermarket, but less than a restaurant. So it's a pretty good deal. Wow. Hey, buddy, we got a lot to eat. <laughs> so let's just attack this thing, and we got to put it down. And then we're gonna go get, we're gonna take Tasty's donation and get something good. Close to perfection. I think, right, after I've had three pieces of it, I can taste the fat. I can taste the marbling of it, it's really good. And high quality Wagyu, Kuro Wagyu especially, the black Wagyu. If it's seared right, the taste of the fat, it kind of explodes when you take a bite in it, and that's something that you want to get every time that you eat the Wagyu. Um, the problem with it being too rare is you don't get that explosion because the fat has not melted yet, so you don't have that, that pleasurable taste. Now, vegetarians might be going crazy with this live stream, but when you eat meat, the fat, when it's mixed in with the meat, is sometimes the best part. It's not the healthiest part, but still really good. All right, let's, let's put this down. Never waste anything. If you can't eat anymore, that's okay, Matthias. And Renee is giving a contribution to Kanai, so I'm gonna take something to her. To, she's working at at uh, at the office, so I'm gonna bring something for her. Thank you so much, Renee. The rest is for you. <laughs> it's my breakfast, actually. Oh, you didn't have breakfast yet? All right, pace yourself. All right, that one's for you, buddy. All right. Nice. Good. How many How many stars do you give it? Four out of five. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. I gave four and a half. In Germany, do you have Wagyu? Well, yes, but it's rare, so. It's hard to find. Yeah, there are some yakiniku places, but yeah, hard to find really. No. Actually, anything else than sushi is very hard to find in Germany. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Beer is not hard to find. Yeah, Jap <laughs> Japanese food, I mean. Japanese food. Yeah. All right, cool. We're gonna go for the next one here. Um, thanks for helping me out again. No problem. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to do this without you, buddy. All right. Um, We'll make a, a stop towards the trash, but on the way, we're gonna look for maybe one or two more dishes. This is getting this is getting pretty much pretty fun because not only are we getting full, we're getting a chance to try all different kinds of wagyu dishes. Now this festival is going on in Tokyo um, until Monday. Yesterday it started out. This is the second one that they've done. Um, can you can you check that? Throw it away. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm so thankful that he's here. I'm so thankful. Uh, Matthias, if you watch this later, I'm gonna say thank you so much a hundred times because the, the way the rain here is making it more difficult than it seems to be filming this. So a big thank you to Matthias. He's here visiting Japan. Um, and when he said he could make it out, I was so happy.
Okay, Wagyu steak produced by Ginza Dompierre. Oh, huh. sounds very, and they got craft beer set? What? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold the presses, hold the presses. Tasty, what do you think here? Um, Tasty Chronicles gave us $20 to eat something really good, and right there in front of us is Ishigaki Jima. Ishigaki is in Hokkaido. Ishigaki is one of the most beautiful islands in, in sorry, not in Hokkaido, in uh, Okinawa. Sorry, I misspoke. And Okinawa has really good beef. Ishigaki is a very natural island. And you can see you can see in the background of the Wagyu, the ocean. So I think we're gonna have to go there. I think that's a there's no way around it. We're gonna have to go there. Let's go take a look a closer look at the menu. <clears throat> Okinawa Orion beer is also famous. That's the beer that they we, they have Asahi, they have Keenan, but they also have one called Orion. And it's not bad. It's not it's not the best beer, but it's not bad. Whoa! And they have Goya beer? What? Goya beer is a very uh, bitter green vegetable that is famous in Okinawa. That's pretty pricey. I think I'm just gonna stick with the... The last thing we get is gonna be beer. Wagyu Ishigaki Gyu Steak. Um, a small size is $30. Wow. That's kind of pricey. <laughs> That's kind of pricey. Um, all right. Like, I think it might be so big that can, will we be able to eat anything else? What do you think? Should we go for, whoa, check this out. They have Ishigaki steak and this is the gold standard, but it's $100. I've never seen $100, have you ever seen $100 street food before? There's $100 street food. I've never seen this before in my entire life. Um, should we go for that? I don't know. I think we're just gonna go. And they have also a, um... Oh wait, okay. The, the Goya Champur is j just Goya Champur. We can go for that, or we can go for the steak. I think we, I don't know, what do you think? Wagyu Hamburg or Wagyu go Goya Champur? Wagyu Hamburg might be interesting. See, I think that's gonna be too much and we're gonna be full because we got a lot more to eat. All right, let's go for the Hamburg, okay? Hamburg. Yeah, Goya, I, I think if, if we can, if we if they let me film it, I'm gonna bring you in there. Ah, oh, Ellis is steak on, uh-oh. Ellis is in the house. I'm breaking the bigger bills now. I gotta break the bigger bills. All right, you can see over there, they, they have um, some of the Goya Champur. It's, oh, that, that plate looks really good. All right. All right, we're gonna go for the Hamburg because it's just different than the steak. Uh, Ellis, we've already eaten, we ate steak right before this. We're gonna try something different, but we're gonna try one more after this. Oh, he's loading up the Goya Champur. See that? Goya is one of the, the bitter vegetables from... Alright, there's the beer menu. Alright, we got permission to film. Firecrackers from Hamburg, Pennsylvania? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, we're waiting just for a second while they, they figure out how it goes. Ariel Lowe, hi from New York, finally get to see you live. Hey there. Go attack those steaks. We're gonna go get one massive steak at the end of this one, okay? So I want you guys to stick, stay tuned to the end. We're gonna go for one more. Hi. Ishigaki Gyu Hamburger. I'm giving them the big bills now. 
around the prowl. And you can smell it. You can just smell the beef wafting over towards the register. It's too much for me to bear. All right, right now he's filming it. Oh, look at that, he's put some fat down. Check it out. Ah, arigatouzaimasu. Ah, desu ka? Whoa. Check that out. He's frying up some goya. This is the bitter... Uh, hey, ego de goya nan to you desu ka? Yeah, bitter something. <laughs> bitter... Bitter gourd, maybe? I'm not sure, but it, it's very famous in Okinawa and it's so good. It's a very good mix with, with beef. So Goya Champoder has a, a beef mixed in with, with egg as well. So it's pretty good. And over here, he's making the hamburg. Is <laughs> this Ah, that's our hamburg right there. That's made from Ishigaki Wagyu. Made in the beautiful island down in Okinawa. Look at it, it's just like sizzling. Check that out, it's so, look at that. Oh man, that's what we're gonna have next. I, if you've ever had a Wagyu burger, it's different than any other burger that you've had just because of the fat content. All right, that's ours right there. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So I'm gonna go over now to pick it up on the other side. There you go. Shimas. All right. So Hokkaido Fair at Mitsuwa today. Thank you, Ellis. Little shout out there. <laughs> Drink for Matthias. You thirsty yet? Yeah, he is. <laughs> you don't have to say that. Now oh, we're good. All right, we're good. let's get a beer after this, okay? Do you drink beer? Actually, I'll pass on the beer. But... Oh, you pass on the beer? We'll get you something else. So they give you a number, so then you, you don't have to wait in front of the stand, which is really smart. When they call out number 13, it's reversed, and this. when they call out number 13, you can come and pick out your, your steak. So that's a really smart idea. Then you don't have all these people hanging out. Today, it's not such a big deal, but to, um, when it's really crowded, it's hard to do that. Oh man, I, I guess you notice on the bottom of the screen, that really delicious chunk of meat. Look at that. I don't know. You can see the marbling there. I don't know if that's like A4, A5, A4 maybe. But it looks really good. Ah, oh, if, if you get closer, yeah, you can now you can really start to see the marbling. You see that? That's why it's that's why it's thirty dollars for the small plate of it, because it's it's the really good stuff. Ah, oh, check out that sauce. Ekono sauce de nani? あの、レアに出来上がってますんで。はい。はい。これ食べると、あの、満足いただいて、あの、半分生で食べて。ああ、ありがとうございます。わあ、すごい。はい、ありがとうございます。私はさ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。
You guys see this? So he, what they've done is they've cooked it just enough to activate the fats in it. And a hamburger's different than a steak because it's all, it's, it's a lot softer. Do you see that? Oh man. Look at that. And what he did is he put, he put some kind of egg sauce on it. And it's something with the egg, it brings out some of the taste of the hamburger. In Japan, raw eggs are safe. Um, they come right from the chicken in, in more, um, I guess, better conditions than, and the supply chain is a lot faster. So everyone eats it, eats it raw. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Are you sure you don't want any? You want some? It's fine. It's fine. Oh man. They put a little bit of pepper in it. There's not a lot of seasoning to it, but what they've done is, ah, it's so good. You can taste the fat in it. It's got that juicy explosion like I was telling you. They didn't have to overcook the hamburger because minced meat is different. And then there's something with the sauce. I think that pepper is in that sauce. And then the vegetables on it are so good. Let's try this for one more. I'm gonna go for a bite here. Then we're gonna get Matthias a drink. All right, there we go, check that out. Oh, it's hard to hold, it's like falling apart. And here we go. I hope it doesn't fall on the, onto the screen here. Good. I don't get a sense of Okinawa eating it. <laughs> I just get a sense like, that's good. It's real good. It does come with vegetables. You want the vegetables? <laughs> well, I mean, this is your breakfast, right? You want a tomato? Hey, it's okay. It's okay, are you sure? <laughs> All right, and there's some sprouts here. I don't know why they didn't give you chopstick. You want it? We don't have to. We don't have to. We can go the other way too if you want. That's what we do in Japan. There you go. I'll get the umbrella. Matthias is going in. He's going in for the, the rarest of them all. The uncooked tomato. And your reaction, sir? Oh, five stars for that tomato. We should ask if that comes from Okinawa. <laughs> Do you want to try some? I don't know how though. <laughs> Wait, we used both sides of the chopsticks already. Oh, so what? what is, what's your name? David. David. Okay. Wait, I know you. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How long have you been in Tokyo? Uh, Twelve years. Okay. I think I've I've seen you somewhere before. Really? Maybe just walking around or. Maybe, because I've been here for 12 years. Yeah. I think so. I think so. I think so. I get. I seem to get around. All right, guys. So that, there you go. That's the Hamburg. It's really good. I'm just going raw dog here. Boom. Any more meat for you? It's okay. No? I already had some. It's good. All right. I was on the island for two, almost two weeks, and I ate fish every day. This is like coming back to, this is like coming back to my roots, beef. Because in America, we eat a lot of beef more than fish. So, there you go. The vegetables, you can go like this. I learned this in Korea. They wrap the yaki, the, the beef in, um, uh, in lettuce, and then they eat it like that. It's a little bit healthier, maybe, because there's leaves, I guess. Mm. But the thing is, hold on a second. There you are. The thing is that I'm already really wet. It doesn't matter if I use my hands. It's like everything's wet around me. I'm soaked, but that was really good. That was really good. Let's give this rice just a little bit of a try. 
Oh, it's good rice. It's, it's like uh, fried in something. Do you have any suggestions, David? I had the steak, but that was a bit expensive. So. Wh which one? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Sanzayan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one we almost got. We're going to try one more dish here before we stop this live stream. Let's go back to the trash, trash unit. Wagyu filet, Wagyu sirloin. Um, I think we tried that there. We're going to go over to, to the that one area that we haven't tried yet. See if they'll help me out here. I like how they separate the trash. Oh, that's a lot of chopsticks. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Nice. That's a lot of chopsticks. <laughs> All right, let's make our way over to the other side. It's nice to have uh, David here as well. Although, I think we lost David. Alright, we're clean. Gotta keep the lens dry. Once again, this is Hibia Park. This is what I guess many would consider to be like the central park of, of Tokyo. Many people might say it would be Yoyogi, but that's kind of over towards Shibuya. This one is right in the center. It's very close to Ginza and Yonakucho. Alright, what we got here? What we got here? Garlic steak, herb garlic steak, roast beef. That looks really good. It, and it's chef steak. Yes, garlic steak. With love. Miyazaki. It's good. Miyazaki? Yes. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, you know what? I was just contacted by Miyazaki uh, Prefecture. Wow. All right, let's show, show me what you got here. Whoa, this is Miyazaki Gyu? Yes, all, all Miyazaki Gyu. Whoa. Oh, ego hanaseru. Sugoi. Katakoto desu. Wow. Why is Miyazaki gyu delicious? Delicious? Uh, Nihongo de yotte daizou desu. Ah, ja, Nihongo de yotte daizou desu. Ja, tsuyaku shimasu. Hi, okay. Eto, hi. Eto, stress ga kakaranai yo ni ano, sodate te iru nade, shitsu no ii ushi o tsukate mo. Ah. Hub no ushi. Nante ego de yun desu kane. Hub? Hub gyu desu. Uh, so the, the beef down in Miyazaki live a very stress-free life and they eat hab, taberu. Chigao. Ah, so this taberu. So, and they eat, the, the beef down in Miyazaki eat her herbs. They eat Hi. herbs. <laughs> oh, you are very popular. Name wa nan desu ka? Naho desu. Naho. Naho from Miyazaki. Miyazaki shi? Miyazaki no. Miyazaki shi. Ah, desu ka? Dewa nai desu. Ah, okay. Not from the city. Ah, Tokyo. So thank you, Naho. So let, I think we're gonna try this. Um, there's also also available here is um, uh, Wagyu tongue, which is gyutan. This is wa Wagyu tan, which is the tongue of the Wagyu, which looks really good. And over there we have, uh, what is that? Ankake gohan. So this is also like a, a yakiniku um, on rice, I think. So that looks also pretty good. But we're gonna we're gonna stick with Miyazaki. I'm interested in Miyazaki. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. なんのすすめがあるあの、昨日特集されたのがこれですあ、そうニュースであ、これニュースではいセダンプガーリックステーキあ、オッケー、ウィルトライディーえ、ユーワンナトライイドナッツシュアはい、ウィルトライディーえ
M size mediums, 100 grams for 2,200 yen, which is $20, almost exactly $20 US at the, at the exchange rates right now. And just the picture looks really good. Look at that, they've got like, like chunks of garlic on top of the steak and some sort of weird sauce on it. It's white and I don't know. We gotta figure it out. That's the voice you use when you're just overpowered by the, the beautiful imagery of Wagyu steak. All right, so her job's to help to facilitate. Do you want something to drink? Do they have? And no mono mo arimasu ka? Ah, biru janai no mono mo arimasu ka? Ah, nai ne. Ah, okay. Hai. Ah, no, 100 gram garlic prawn steak. Oh, that's it right there. Ah, hi. Hi. Ah, the August IPA more. Guys, you must. Hi. Hi. Please wait a moment. And we can watch them as they cook this delicious Miyazaki Wagyu. Oh, look at that. Just seared to perfection. And what's simmering on here is onions simmering in like a dashi uh, soup stock. And that looks so good as well. And over here on the other side, there's other onions just simmering. Look at that. Oh, it's just like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Whoa. Thank you, Mama. Look at that. And here comes the beer. Hi. Oh, thank you. M size, right? Ah, ja, S de mui. Hi. M size, you want to get Ah, ja, S de mui, da, yo. Hi. All right, I, I ordered an M, but they gave me an S size. Sorry, Matthias. I didn't, that, that's weird. Do you want Do you want one of these? Yeah, maybe, but maybe just. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll make do with what we have. Oh, S size is pretty much done. All right, guys, this is what we got here. Uh, it's got some vegetables, it's got a big chunk of garlic on there, it's got a Wagyu steak from Miyazaki, which is down in Kyushu. It's uh, on the coast, it's known for its wonderful mangoes that are cost like $100 each. So this, this Wagyu is going to live up to, live up to it, I think. Putting it down on the wet table. Itadakimasu, part 5. To go along with this, we have an August IPA, which is a beer made down in Miyazaki. It looks pretty good, slightly watered down thanks to the rain. Let's go and let's go in for it. Do you want the garlic chunk? <laughs> By that laugh, I'm guessing maybe no. Oh, check this out. All right, I'm guessing that it's seared just enough that you get to activate the fats on it. Do you see that? Check that out. Oh man. Look at that. And the sauce on it, I'm not really sure what it is, but um, we're gonna find out real fast. So let's eat this thing. Does this look does, does this look good to you? Alright. I gotta push the button, I gotta turn it right side. Alright, here we go. Let's try this. Wagyu from Miyazaki! Oh man. Five stars. <laughs> Five stars. Activates the fats. You got that right, Alan. My life, Japan. <clears throat> ah, the sauce is salty. 
it's chill pie, so it's it's so good with the meat. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you want to give it a try? Okay. All right. There's two sides to every pair of chopsticks. So Thice is going in for the kill, although it's already kind of killed, but he's gonna go in for a taste. There he goes. It's been put in the mouth and now chewed. He chews it. He's chewing, smiling. And there we go, we got the thumbs up, do it again. Thumbs up. Yes. What do you, what do you like about it? Mm. <laughs> kind of activated the fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matthias is getting it. And it activates the fat. Matthias, you talk with your smile, I think. When, yeah. I, when he smiles, you know if it's good or bad, right? If it's not bad, if it's not good, it's more like. It's good. It's good. How many stars? Half. Mm. Yeah. Uh, four and a half out of five. That's like a five for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Matthias is a little bit more critical on his meat, but I'd say, I'd say that's a five out of five for here, for this experience here. Um, it's a four out of. If I was at a restaurant, it'd be a lot less, I think. But uh, yeah. So there you go. All right. Anybody have a two tip? All right. Now, we're going in for this, here. This is garlic. Now, it's not as strong as you think because it's been cooked and I'm guessing it's not, you know, <laughs> like super strong. We're gonna figure this out. Oh, hey, guess what, Matthias, there's two pieces. Aren't you happy now? Great. <laughs> yeah, great, great. He's like, great. <laughs> All right, here we go. With garlic. Because it's been it, it's been uh, cooked before, it's really not as strong. But yeah, it's garlic. Are you sure you want it? You don't. You can say no. That's okay. Matthias is in on it. I like that. It's going in for the garlic. What? Um. Yeah, with my wife. <laughs> He's going in. How is it? Garlic. It's garlic. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, I give the garlic no stars because I can't rate it. It's sort of what it is. All right, the last piece. This is for Ellis. We're leaving this here for you. So when you come to Japan, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to eat this. Uh, do you want the big piece or the little piece? How hungry are you? Oh, it's like connected. You can take it, it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. It's hard to separate it. This is how you do it with chopstick skills. You have to have good chopstick skills in order to... There you go. It's hard to do this. Cause I'm, I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the camera while I do this, so everything's magnified. It's hard. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I did it. Okay. That's a chopstick song, by the way. <laughs> Some people got it. Some people didn't get it. There we go. The last, last, the almost the last bite. There's a little bit of pepper in there. Here we go. It's just as good as the first bite, just a little bit colder because it's been sitting here in the rain. That's pretty good. Yeah? No? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's going for it. You don't have to say anything, buddy. It's, it's, it's all said with a smile. It's all said with the smile. Oh, what did you want to get the drink? Um, yeah, go ahead. There's, uh, what, what, what do they have here? Here's some change. There you go. <laughs> You're not part of the show's history forever now. Matthias has now made his debut. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine. You're, are, you're not a YouTuber, right? Not really. No, he's not a YouTuber. 
So it's not that it's not that he's shy. He's just he's not a he's no, he's like no, we're like normal people, right? <laughs> like not everybody. What I, what we do here, YouTubing, is just kind of not normal. Because I'm talking to a stick right now, and all around me there's people going about their average daily lives. Nothing wrong with that. Not that many people actually because of the rain, but. I am holding a stick and talking to it, and you get to see, you get to see a little bit of uh, me at work. It's kind of funny. It's not funny because you're on the other side watching this, so you don't really realize, you know, vlogging is, is kind of hard. You have to swallow the fact that everyone's making fun of you and just do it. All right, before this beer gets more watered down, for seven dollars, thank you, Ellis. Thank you, Tasty. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. We're gonna put this down. I've now successfully spent one hundred dollars on beef here. And now beer. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. So $100 here today. Thank you very much for the contributions, for the super chats. That paid for today's lunch. Um, appreciate the support very much as well. Hit the like button if you like this. If we get to 500 likes, I might eat one more. It's up to you guys. I'm waiting for Matthias to come back. If we get to 500 likes, I might eat one more. You gotta keep it clean. Um, I just got back from uh, if you look back at some of the live streams from a couple days ago, all right, he got it. I just got back a couple days ago to, uh, what'd you get there? Orange juice. All right, good. Let's wash it down with some OJ. I got back from uh, Ogasawara, Chichijima. Uh, if you look back at some of the live streams from last week, you'll see the most beautiful tropical waters in Japan. I think it's like comparable to maybe the Maldives. It's very, very cool. Um, we had a really, I had a really good time down there. I wish I'd brought my wife with me. She was hating it the entire time I was there because I sent pictures and she would say like, why didn't you not take me? And I couldn't because she had to work. Uh, I didn't, she was invited. She was invited. Uh, do you guys have any questions about Wagyu or this event? Let me know. If we get the 500 likes in the next one minute, I will eat one more. Just, just saying. All right, I mean, that's a good challenge, right? If we get the 500, we'll eat one more. Um, any questions down here? Uh, My Life Japan, thanks for braving the rain. You're very welcome. I thought it was mango. Oh, is that mango? No, it's orange. Orange. It says orange. It's orange. It could, it, does it taste like mango? No, it's orange. <laughs> it's orange. Is it still very hot in Tokyo? No. David says no. This is the first like chilly day? No. It's like cold because of the rain. Yeah, in, in Japan, it, I, I've been living here for 20 years and it seems like once September 1st hits, the weather just starts to get to autumn. Like it moves right into autumn, autumn like September signals the end of summer. The beaches close, actually. August 31st is, August is the last day of beaches in Japan. Then it's like no more lifeguards, everybody goes back to work. Although they, they were working, right? Mostly, it's just really hot. Um, when they have, when they have this food festival, this food festival is held annually. Um, I think it's called Wagyu Tokyo Wagyu Show, is what it's called. And the Tokyo Wagyu Show is, uh, it's kind of neat because it's a chance for all the Wagyu beef from all around Japan to come in one spot, and you can eat it like street food, and that's what makes this kind of fun. However, the street food is a lot more expensive than uh, any ordinary street food, right? Like we spent a hundred dollars today eating street food. We started off with the Wagyu Sushi, so if you're watching this now, go back to the, at the beginning of it and check out the Wagyu, Wagyu Sushi, uh, Kobe Sushi. Um, let's see here, any other questions? No? All right, well thanks everybody. We didn't get to the 500 likes, but thank, we did break 300, but I think we ate a lot. Thank you everybody for watching it. If you are in Tokyo, come over here and check out this Wagyu show. Have a good time. They've got some pretty in, uh, neat craft beer from all the different areas of, of Japan. And they also got a lot of Wagyu. Over there they have some Japanese wine, lemon sours, 
and try some neat things. And if you get here really fast, you also see Matthias. Thank you, buddy. High five. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, David, for coming out, braving this really awesome weather. <laughs> this is really, this is, I, I didn't see rain once on the islands when I was there in, in uh, Ogasawara, and now it's like this. Um, Jennifer and I, my friend Jennifer, cook home cooked Wagyu beef. And you can see that, click the eye up in the playlist. And I'm going to put a link to in that in the description as well as a Wagyu video that I made last year at Totori Ken. Totori won the Wagyu Olympics, making it the number one beef brand in Japan. I say it like that because that's what I wrote in the script when I made that show. So go ahead and take a look at the Wagyu beef episode also in the playlist for this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Have a good day. I hope it's a lot sunnier where you are than it is here now. This event will be will be ending on Monday. So you got a couple more days to come out here and have some Wagyu. All right, bye. <laughs> that was just big enough to break some hearts out there. Have a good day, everybody.